7 o'clock in the morning. Got a wagon full of puppies <laughs> getting bathed that are not happy about it. They were in the crate, and apparently one of them poopied or kippied, and it was all over all of them. Poor little boobies. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I know. Goodness. Everybody lined up, huh? got Jonathan a little housewarming gift. He's always wanted one of these and I've never allowed him to have one because they're so noisy and he loves noisy loud things but I thought this is his house and he'll be living next door but we saw this and could not resist it. Yes, a wind chime and it's a solar light on top so I thought oh, that would be perfect for him so he'll be excited. Wait until you see his face. So he's next door in his brother's house right now but I'm going to that and just wait. He's gonna love it. Okay, so I think I got the final fittings that I needed. I got these here um, to protect. They go through, they went through the wall in the bathroom to protect the pecs from the metal. And then I got these shark manifolds. And this one is for the hot water. And it's closed on one end, open on this end. So three-fourths on this end and then half inch off of them and I'll have to well, close off the ones that aren't being used so only two of them will be used for the kitchen and for the bath I tried to find one that had clothes that was a three but they they just didn't have the only one I could find had like a two month ship so didn't want to wait two months for that even though it's taking me forever to get the plumbing done I'd rather it be me not because I'm waiting on a part and then on these, this this will be the cold the cold water in, cold water distribution, and then cold water over to the hot water heater. Hot water heater will feed into here, and out we go. And that way, it'll be everything in a central location. And I do have a shut off valve, a ball valve that'll go on the cold water, so when I can cut it off. Got this PEX. Uh, it's a deburring tool and uh, depth gauge. So I can make sure you, it's got the, like, here's a half inch. So you want to make sure you have this much. It goes this far in. And if it doesn't, then you didn't connect it properly. Okay, so this is the stub up for the shower. And I went ahead and I cut it off because I have the manifold set up in this cabinet. And hot on the top. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, hot on the top. The hot water heater will go in there. Um, and then the the lines, I'm going to bring them through here with the, um, a 90 degree thing. So what I have here is I, I cut it off and I deburred it to make sure. So now I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to mark right there. That's the depth that that half inch needs to go into, into that sharp so My connection. line is right there. And I'm going to put a stiffener. Well, it comes with the stiffeners for... Um, the ones that, that I'm using. So I'll put the stiffener in the pecs and then I'll make sure. Now these actually, if I would have cut it on the lines, whoops, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, the shark actually marks. So you could go between the arrows, but I cut it at a different a a area. So anyway, we'll just do it right. These connectors that I bought are actually not the shark. These are the push to fit. Um, they're the ones that home base had. So that I've been using those. The manifolds are um, shark bites, and they already have the stiffeners in it, so I'll make sure that all the stiffeners are in place. And this is the 90 degree angle, so I'll put it in here and then stub it out through the wall, and I'll strap it over to here to make sure that it doesn't move. You want to push until it clicks on these, and there's the... And, and there went the click, okay? 
There we go. One down. than the pipe protector apparently on that. So that's what the that's what the pipe protectors look like when they're installed. And then I'm gonna run the pipe. I was a chore getting that through there, but we did. And let's see. And I'll uh, eventually make this cabinet in place once we get the walls in. So we got it here. I got let's see. Let's see. Got about that much, so I'm gonna make sure it's deburred, mark it, make sure we get the depth in there, and put in the stiffener. And we don't want to forget to put in the stiffener. Okay, we have it marked. Stiffener goes in. There we go. Now we can connect this. Well, because of the angle that it's kind of at, I'm not able to, can't seem to get a good contact in there, so I'm going to take out the top one, and I'm going, so that I can push in this one a little easier. And these disconnect tools are so awesome. All right, now maybe, there we go, perfect. And then we're going to run it right into here, top one. Oh, actually, I think I'll do the second one. We'll let the water heater be the first one. Or maybe here. We'll do the last one, actually. And there we have it. Did it show? Yeah, there it is. So that's the hot water connected. Now we're going to do the same thing. Okay, for so I got the cold water fed through on that side. We've got this stubbed out. I'm going to go ahead and burr it again because I can't remember if I did. And I'm going to burr this one. No, I already did this one and I marked it. So then we'll be ready to. Okay, so now we're just going to put the connector in. And what do you think? done that the other way around. That's the same thing. I'd okay, so cold water for the shower, hot water for the shower, connected. Strapped in. We've got the protectors around here, so I'm not worried about that. Got protectors in here. I'm going through the wall. Take it from the middle. And so then we just got to bring the three-fourths water inlet from through the thing, and I'll put it through the cabinet. And the water heater will probably be on just on okay, this. Hold that there. Because I'm gonna push on this side, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ready? Yeah. Well, you just push. I did. Okay. Now do the other one. The blue one. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Push. One, two, three. Okay. Hi that? Teamwork. All right. One. What I'm talking about, teamwork. Teamwork. Oh, yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it. Got to put some more supports in there, but so far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. There we go. Huh? All we got to do is get his shower head up there. And I need to obviously caulk around here. Then I have the little silver things, these, that will go around it. So, we'll see. Okay, so I drilled a hole through the cabinet where the water inlet is going to come in. And then I drilled a preliminary 1 8 inch hole through the floor. So I could double check. I measured and I'm going to, that's going to actually be the far edge because it's right on the edge. 
but it's good. What I did was so that I'd know, rather than trying to find that little bitty hole, I uh, put the drill in there with the bit like this, and then I crawled up underneath the house to look where the bit was sticking through so that I would know where it was. In the moment of truth, I am going to drill the actual hole, bring the water up through there, and I'm going to drill it. Um, I'm going to use a one inch bit. I'm doing three fourths water line coming in, but it's because I want to be able to put the protectors around it, so I'm leaving extra space. And there we go. We have a water line or a hole for a okay, water line. So I'm going to come out here. I've got my three fourths inch line. I'm going to get up underneath the house and see what we can see. What we see is weeds, and don't worry, I've checked it multiple times. There's no snakes. Thanks for worrying. Oh, yes, Delilah gave me a heart attack. Ugh, I didn't know she was under here with me. So oh. we're running it up in the house. Ugh. Sorry, not enough hands. And there it is. Stubbing through the house, and now I'm going to move the cabinet so it'll sit over it. And cut myself under there too, on a piece of wood. Don't cut yourself.